Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about uh, what if analysis and that's a little important thing. Very easy, very convenient function of Excel and uh, it lets you achieve certain goals by uh, you know manipulating certain values or probably giving you a target or something of that sort. So this is the first basic example which I can take. You have subject, you have marks and you know you have already got some marks in marketing, HR, finance principles of uh, what is it it could be principles principles and practices of management or something of that sort so i may rename this form right qt quantitative techniques most of the students you know they get kind of compartment in that so suppose you suppose you scored only two in that and this is where your compartment is there so you are so uh, going in the compartment Database management system you scored 76 total marks are 345 So this is it is sum of all these three so you can just simply see that it is sum of all the marks Total marks are 600 so total obtained so I'll just Clearly mention mention it total obtained marks 345 total marks 600 and right now your percentage is 58% which I have used a simple formula now you have a chance you want to give the quantitative technique marks and your goal is that you should achieve at least 65 percent here or 60 percent here so i just want to understand how many marks i should score minimum in qt to get 60 percent here so i'm going to put a goal here goal is actually scoring uh let me pick up a target 65 percent in tom uh i would say that's it this is what my objective is i want to score 65 percent and i know the maximum marks are 100 so this cannot go above 100 right so i'll use very simple goal seek function i hope you understood the entire scenario of the problem i'll simply go to data what if analysis there are three functions given i'll be talking about goal seek in first go set cell so i want to set this cell to a value so if it is in the percentage i'll recite at 65 percent by changing quantitative techniques marks that's it pretty simple straightforward nothing see the adjustment once again setting the cell so this cell i want to set to 65 percent and how much should be there in qt click ok fair calculates so if you score 47 you're going to get a 65 percent right here simple isn't it so this this works absolutely fine with one subject you can set a goal for the total obtained marks let us suppose you want to obtain 500 marks in total so you can try it out instead of choosing percentage you can select total obtained and set it to 500 but that time because this is not a percentage you will not be using the percentage symbol here right click okay fine perfect let's see another problem <clears throat> so you have a phone item is a phone there is a 50 this phone costs 50,000 and there is a down payment right now i have certain filler in it let me delete it you want to buy this phone on emi and uh, it is the rate of interest is 9.50 percent per annum so and the emi maximum tenure is 12 months and uh, there is some emi i did a simple emi calculation nothing much it's it's a very class eight mathematics if you see you have got uh, you know price then whatever down payment you are going to make it will be subtracted on balance amount you will be charged with this particular percentage of amount for an annum and that will be the total amount uh, payable plus uh, you know um, whatever left out of the principal divided by 12 so this is you can use a piece of paper and think about it how this entire calculation of calculating emi is done that's not a big challenge i am just calculating so what i'm doing is uh something like this principal amount uh minus down payment and uh, so this is exactly the amount on which the interest will be charged right and uh, times the interest times the interest so that is exactly that will be calculation amount plus so uh, you have to pay this interest plus you have to pay principal uh, minus down payment that will be your total payable amount and it will be divided by 12 so i know the emi calculations are more complicated than that 
reducing increasing but i have taken a very simple problem here so if i let's say there are the item cost rupees 100 i pay rupees 20 80 i want to convert into an emi for rupees uh, uh for 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 uh, i would say four emis where my total interest is 10 percent so my total amount is now payable is 88 rupees divided by four that's what my emi is you can check that calculation once again so uh, my objective or goal here is to keep uh depending on my salary or something my goal is to keep emi equal to 2500 i cannot afford any of my more than 2500 so how much down payment i need to make that's the simple calculation i'm going to make so i'm simply going to go to data what if analysis call seek all right set cell so i want to set cell emi how much i want to keep it to 2500 i can't afford more, more than that so how much down payment is needed by changing the down payment click ok and the engine starts working yes you're buying a phone of 50,000. you make a down payment of 42,602 rupees and uh, your emi is going to be 2500 so you are sorted how much emi to be paid right so that's how to you do you different uses of coal so you, you can try with different emi amounts you can try with different interest rates and you can change the period and you can put your brains in that how exactly thing is going to change that means the problem goes a little complicated that means the period is let's say 24 months so 9.50 percent then your emi calculation formula is going to be a little different so 95.50 could be a flat interest uh for both the years so in first year how much total amount you will pay subtracted by the second year amount divided by 12 emi some, something like this you just calculate the total emi that's a separate thing how exactly you calculate emi the objective here is to understand the goal seek analysis and that's what i have done i'll uh, not uh, you can you can think about the third problem which is right here in which i have cost per unit so there might be i am uh, manufacturing a pen whose uh, cost is uh, 12 uh, rupees i'm selling it for 20 rupees the demand is exactly something so let me just convert it into grids right okay 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 let me try now i think dollars right i will find rupees and uh then some revenue is coming up if i'm selling 375 revenue 7500 the profit is so revenue is simply you can see that it is c4 into c3 that means unit price multiplied by demand and you can see the profit is simply revenue minus cost that is it so demand is something which i'm going to play with so let me check so my goal is what what is my goal goal is to uh make a profit of rupees 5000 or dollar right so i'm dealing in usd so i'm going to put up let's say usd okay fair enough sounds good so i want to give my salesman the target that how much is the target for this month but i have a profit in mind so i'm going to simply go to data what if analysis goal seek set sell you know the answer set the profit to five thousand by changing the demand and i click ok and i say listen pal you need to sell 625 units this month start it so that's what goal seek analysis does very simple problems can be solved a little complicated i'll not get into that you can you can try another problems and we check another function of uh, what if analysis so okay let me pick up this problem right so i'll just delete it <clears throat> fair enough let's understand the data price of a particular quantity rupees 20 the price at which i'm selling quantity i will search what is the right quantity total revenue is of course quantity sold multiplied by price per unit price this is per unit price per unit and the transportation cost is something there is a cost of item and the cost of item is two times c5 i'll just explain what exactly it is then you have the total cost which is cost of item and the transportation cost so the cost of item could be like uh, each quantity which i'm selling i'm probably uh, 
two rupees is the cost of it so total quantity sold multiplied by two that's the cost of the item so it could be a manufacturing cost it could be a traded cost so i'm getting it at two selling it at 20 you can think it that way so the total cost would be two times the quantity sold of course and the total cost i have already shown you the function i can re show you the profit is definitely revenue minus cost and it is going to be negative right now because i haven't sold anything right so i will see different scenarios i'll try to clump different goals in one go so i'll simply go to data what if analysis and go to scenario manager this time okay let me clean it up let me create different scenarios so first scenario is let us suppose i say quantity 200 what if i sell 200 quantities by changing of course c5 because my quantities are going to come here i can name it something right if 200 quantities all right ti tis are sold okay so i want to change this cell to 200 right now click add i'm going to add one more scenario i'll call it qty 300 ending c5 absolutely fine if 300 quantities these are sold okay and 300 right let me add one more qty 400 by changing cell c5 sounds good to me right i can rewrite it here if 400 quantities are sold right i click ok fair enough 400 is the quantity and i click add okay let me cancel it so three scenarios you can add more of them right and what i can do now fair let me show for 200 quantities okay this is supposed to be a little bigger i have to close it sorry i just need to make it a little bigger and again go to data i think it will be holding up scenario manager seems fine 300 show that's the profit 400 show that's the profit you want to get everything in one go summary right the result cell is this scenario summary click ok and that's the scenario summary you can see that so i'm changing the quantity the current value is 400 uh, if, if you know right now in it is if it is going to go to 200 400 300 and 400 the profits are going to be varying like this so that's that's what scenario summary can do to you it's pretty pretty wonderful concept of showing everything in one go but the last problem which i'm going to solve is using the data table again i'll get rid of the quantity right here so what i'll do is i simply go to my the problem is absolutely same you know there is no change in at all so I'm going to simply go to go to data and I'm going to go to goal seek analysis, let us suppose, right? And uh, I I just want to make a profit. Uh, I'll, I'll put it here and I put a profit of 5,000 and by changing this particular cell right here. Okay, one to my left and I click OK. It calculates out this many quantities are to be sold. I can round it up. That's not a problem, right? So I can reduce the decimal points here always to round it up. 306 are to be sold. And let me see that if different quantities are sold, what is going to come here? Pretty simple. So this cell, I, I prepared this table, and this 5000 is equal to uh, the profit which I'm making. So let me select this entire, you know, I'm sorry. Let me select this entire so once again, go to data what if analysis data table column input because my columns are with respect to input and i input this cell click ok ok there is some mistake i need to cross check it once again <clears throat> uh, ok column input cell oh i think i have selected all the things wrong just a minute let me get rid of this sorry and let 
me just get rid of this. This is going to be uh, the sort data order data table input cell quantity. Click OK now. Data order okay. Sorry, so this is this entire thing data. What if analysis data table on the input and the quantity and click okay that's fine so if you're going to sell the 50 quantity then the profit is going to be 400 if you're going to sell 100 it will be 1300 150 200 so what it is doing is that it is going you going to give you the profit summary uh in one particular table and you can have a little you know, 300, 400, and so on. So it is exactly getting everything in one go. So thank you very much for this video. Thank you.